At one stage, uh, I was on about 12, 12, uh, this, as, as Singapore, uh, Singapore Children's Society, Singapore Plan, Family Planning, um, what else? Uh? Somehow I managed, <laughs> I got, <coughs> I got everything done well. <laughs> Till my children finished school, finished university, and some even went for higher studies. <laughs> That's the important thing. You see, you can do this, do that, but if you fail in your family life, if your children are dropouts, and all that, that's very sad. But in my case, I see to it that the children come first, Family comes first, and then the other things. I used to go to the St. Andrew's Hospital. I used to go to their homes and all that. And then when someone tell us that there's some problem somewhere, wherever in Singapore, we will go out and help in whatever way we can. One of the women came to see me and she was feeding the baby with tea, 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 oh, you know. My God, I asked her, what is that? She said, tea, oh. I said, why you give the baby tea, oh? She said, I have no money to buy milk, milk so expensive. Oh, my God. I said, no, this cannot do. So I wrote to the social welfare and told them, what's happening and all that. Baby is drinking tea o. And, uh, in the end, this every month, they send me uh, 200, 250, 250 gram of milk. You know, and I give to this women who have no money to buy milk for the babies. Because I, I don't give them. You never know, sometimes these women, they can go and sell the milk and the babies still suffer. So I ration it every month. I tell them, you come and take. So every month they come and take the milk for, for the babies. Both, both thing, you know, you see, very sad. You can't imagine that happening in Singapore. <laughs> 